Today I'm going to show you how to set up the easiest and simplest Notion system so you can reach your goals. First, I'm going to show you a preview of how I set up my Notion. Then I'll share some tips so that you can actually start using Notion consistently. So this is my Notion homepage. It's very simple. I just have my goals and archive here, a quote that kind of reminds me to continue working towards my goals. And I have my Notion split up into my life categories. So I have one for growth, career and finance, creativity, health, and my social life. So let's start with growth. For growth, the way I formatted this page was all the important things and things that I look at often are on the very top and I have a divider in the middle and some categories. It can be very simple. I use a lot of sub pages to keep things clean. And now I think the most important things on this page are the goals and I have this split up. It's like actually kind of messy because I haven't really updated it in a few years, but I think that's an important message because it's okay for your pages to be messy. Like for example, if I have a bunch of messy docs, I'll still put them in there and just put them in sub pages like with my archive. Anything that I don't really use anymore and don't find useful but I don't want to delete, I just drag it to my archive here. Back to my goals. So you can see it's just like kind of chaotic but I think one page that you can start today and one page you can make is this ideal lifestyle mood board. So I actually even made them into my desktop background and I think one of my students for my life tracking course where I provide all these templates and teach all these concepts, she made it her phone background as well. But you can just do this on Notion and pull out some pictures from Google, Unsplash, Pinterest and toss them in here. I went even further and categorized it into like the different categories of my life, like my career, I put some pictures career related, my relationships, I put some pictures related to what I wanted in my relationships and so on. So that's one that you can make for yourself, the ideal lifestyle mood board. So now back to the growth page, the other important thing I would encourage you to do is the habits page. So my habits are kind of chaotic, I actually I optimized it more in my course template where you just have to click a button and it allows you to do the reflections. But for my personal page, I kept the inefficient one from ages ago, but it works for me. So even if it's inefficient or isn't perfect or doesn't look as pretty, I think it's fine as long as you can be consistent with it. So I have all of my reflections here and a button here that allows me to... Like I have a calendar reminder every single week and on that day, I will set aside some time to do my weekly reflections where I just answer these questions and at the end of every month, I look at all my weekly reflections and take the wins from every single week and put them into my monthly milestones. And when you look back on it throughout the whole year, you're like, wow, I actually accomplished so much. It helps with your confidence a lot. So for the growth section, I would really recommend you make a page for ideal lifestyle, goals, things like that. And then another one for weekly reflection and habits. All these other things, I cover a little bit of them in my life tracking course, which you can find in the description below, but um, I think those two are the most important. I also have my therapy notes in here. Um, that video went kind of viral because <laughs> people were like, why are you taking notes for your and like doing homework for therapy? But I'm like, that's how you get the most out of it. I also have some finance and like my creator business stuff on there, but I think I might end up moving the creator business stuff to career and finance. So, you know, again, your Notion system does not have to be perfect as long as it works for you. And things can change throughout the years because your life is going to change. But just remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you continue making use of it and it's useful for your life, you can just make it whatever you want. So the next section here is career and finance. This is where I would put like your side projects, hustles, your work documentation stuff, which that video also went viral and I have templates for all this stuff. And I also would put my financial planning things in here, like investments, retirement. So I have like a bunch of notes from meetings with accountants and banks and stuff and like finance things I'm learning and my work documentation stuff. And I also link my creator business page on here. So it's in both growth and career and finance. Again, it's not perfect, but you know, it works for me. The next one is creativity. So here I have just like my random hobbies and things that I want to do more of and have more time for and some inspiration from Pinterest and random quotes. But for you, you can put like travel stuff. 
um, travel planning, other hobbies. So I actually, for my travel planning, there's like a whole, like I put all of my insurance documents, flights and everything on here. Maybe I'll make a travel planning video one day. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see it because <laughs> it's pretty time intensive to make. The next section is health. Health is where I put all of my um, routines that make me healthier, my meal plans, diet stuff, like all the research about food and all my exercise, marathon training, gym schedule, stuff like that. You can really just make this whatever you want because some of my pages are literally just like notes for my physio, like I need to do this stretch, um, like these are the muscles I need to look out for. Right now it looks so organized with all these sub pages and emojis and stuff but when you click into it, it's kind of a mess and I think that's okay um, because like you see on my homepage, it looks so organized, it's so simple, so beautiful. But when you start clicking into them, it's kind of scattered and it's just like point form notes and stuff. And I think that's okay because when you're on the go, you just wanna write things down. Writing them down is better than being perfect and having it look so pretty. Cause I think that's where people, they're like, no, she's so intimidating. Cause they see all these pretty templates, but it's like, you can just write down point form notes. It's like, you know, your iPhone notes app or something. You can just write down some random lines and that's okay. And that's how you get Notion to work for you instead of becoming intimidating and like giving up on it just because you can't make it look pretty. Because you can just hide everything under sub pages and it still looks pretty and it's simple and it's less intimidating for you to use. Anyway, the next section here is social. So everything here I put like my friends, my relationship stuff. So for this section, I would recommend putting like, if you are a party hoster like me, you can put like ideas like murder mystery nights, scavenger hunts, and plan it all out here. And include relevant links to like gift exchanges and other websites here. Um, I also put a date bucket list, which is just all the things that I want to do. And we just pick random things from there. And you can also put all your research on stuff like um, family planning, children, etc. in the future if you choose to have some. Sometimes I do favors for friends and I'm like their reference for a bunch of things that they're trying out. So I just copy paste everything nice I write about them because um, I can write that somewhere else like a birthday card or like another reference for them. Now the key takeaways. So I think hopefully you understand the key message I'm trying to convey here which is it doesn't need to be perfect. You know, you should do things that make sense for you. Use my template here as a guideline, but you should make it work for you. If these categories make sense for you, that's great. If they don't, just make whatever categories make more sense for you. Maybe that's school and studying and that's your number one priority. So that's like a big block and then everything else fits under that. And then as you graduate, you can move stuff up to um, be your focus. And the other thing is you can archive stuff. So if things, like you start a project and then it doesn't work out you can just drag that into archive if you want to keep all the documents but you don't want to look at it anymore just put it into a sub page called archive and that way it's still there if you search for it and if you want to look at it but yeah so actually what i did before my home page on notion was kind of a mess but i didn't want to get rid of anything so i just dragged the entire home page into archive and started with a blank page and it was so freeing the other thing is i would focus on one category at a time for your um, goals so like for example a lot of my goals are tied to like growth career and finance right now i am focusing on just like career and finance um, but you know depending on what stage you are in your life you might be focusing on like school or your health or your hobbies so focus on one thing to focus on in that season and the season can be like a few days or weeks or months i feel like a lot of people they're like i have so many things i want to do i'm just gonna try and do it all but you shouldn't do that because you have more time actually if you focus on one thing and then move on to the next thing and that way you're able to make more progress because I feel like in the past I tried to do too many things at once and then I just didn't make progress on anything but just constantly felt overwhelmed and guilty so if you focus on one thing at a time you're like yes I did this this week you know you can check things off feel more motivated get that done and then move on to the next thing when you're ready again you decide the timelines of your life um, you know unless you're in school then I guess you're like oh I gotta wait till I graduate but like after you graduate you're like Okay, I can focus on, you know, my meal planning and diet for like a month and learn one recipe every week. So you have four new recipes at the end of the month. Then if you get bored of it or if you're like, you're ready to take another step and focus on something else, then you can do that. But for that month, I would just focus on meal prep. And then once it gets easier, 
then you can kind of do it in the background while focusing on something else. I know that was a lot, so if you need more help with this, I have a life tracking course where I go over all of this. Here are all of the templates that I provide in the course. A lot of students said it helped them find purpose and clarity in life and they felt like more productive than ever before. But if you're not sure about the course yet, feel free to subscribe. I try to post insightful content about productivity and like life tracking stuff on my YouTube channel. If you liked this video, I think you should check out this other video I made about setting your goals in Notion. Uh, it could be very helpful for you as we enter the new year. And yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.